Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Luna and I make Animal Crossing videos every single week. So if you're into fairy core or decorating videos or Animal Crossing in general, maybe consider subscribing to join our little AC family. Last week we decorated Marina's yard and we gave her a nice beachfront. I love how it turned out and Marina definitely appreciated her little makeover. If you're interested to see how I created this or if you missed it, I will leave a link to this video in the time cards on top. For today's video, I will be pausing on the little series that I've been doing which was decorating my villager yards and I wanted to do something different for today's video. I have a space that I have been dying to decorate for a while now and today is that day and we have Mint here making her way into the intro her cute little self. I'm going to create a secret little area so if you want to see what the little secret area is just keep on watching. So the area that I'm going to be decorating will be the area behind my nook's cranny. So today I'm going to be creating a little secret nook behind my nook's cranny. This is kind of a semi sunken area, I would say, because it's still open for my villagers to walk in, but it's still kind of like the sunken area. To get down here, I will be adding a ladder or you can get here through the beach. I already carved out some space for this area, but I'm going to carve out a little bit more and I'm going to cave in some of these cliffs so it could look a little bit more natural. I decided to decorate this area because this is the last area I have for my right side of my island and instead of me jumping around and going to the left side I decided to go back here and see what I can do so that I can finally finish the right side and just focus on decorating the left side. I was playing around with this area for a long time. I originally wanted to create a villager home here and have a sunken area in the front but when I placed the villager home down it looked a little bit weird because my nook's cranny is here and then it also looked weird having the shop and then a sunken area and then my villager home just across from the nook's cranny and so I moved my villager back onto my beach and I scrapped the whole idea and then I was like you know what I'm going to come back to this later on in life so then I finally came back to this and I decided what if I don't add the villager home here and just create a sunken garden so then I ended up creating the sunken area but I closed it off and I didn't like that it was super close to the beach so then I was like you know what what if I remove some of the cliffs and just leave this space open so that my villagers can come in whenever they want and it can be like a little secret area for them and that's how this idea was born. So I'm just going to add a lot of waterfalls and little rivers connecting to the waterfall and I'm going to be decorating this top cliff but not the cliff above which I think is the third tier. That top area connects to a bigger section of my island and I have an idea in mind that I want to do for it so I'm just going to save that for a future video so stay tuned for that and I'm just going to finish connecting and adding all of the waterfalls and rivers and then I'm going to show you guys how it looks before I start decorating. So here is how the section looks behind the nook's cranny. I do have a video up on my channel where I created my shopping district so if you want to check it out and see how all of these areas connect to each other and here is a closer view of the sunken area. I can't wait to decorate because this is going to come together so nice and it's going to look so good. Here here is a closer look of the left side and here is a closer look of the right side. So now I'm going to decorate. I'm going to add the fairy spring path here that will guide you to the ladder that I'll be placing later so that you can get down here. I'm mostly going to fill up this area with some of my custom designs and I'm going to add more flowers and trees here. For the sunken area, I will be adding a lot of cherry blossom trees just because I love how they look and they're pink and you can't get enough of the cherry blossom trees. And all of the design codes that I use for this build will be listed in the description below. For the next video, I might just continue the villager yard series. I only have two more villagers left to move on to my island, Mary and Gala. I might do Mary's house first just because I'm still working on getting Gala's photo. I was trying to cheat my way by going on to Nookazon and buying Gala's photo from there, but no one was selling her photo. Someone did post a listing and I literally put down that I'll give them 250 Nookmile tickets for the photo and they completely ignored me and then they went offline. A tear came down but I was like it's okay let me just continue giving gala these fruits so hopefully she could give me her photo soon and if you're new here wondering why i can't just do her yard without her photo and it is because i have a tradition on my channel where i like to put the photo of the villager outside of their home to kind of personalize their yard a bit i also changed the exterior of their home so when you come to my island when i do decide to drop my dream address you'll know exactly whose house it is by seeing the photo outside of their home so gala please just give me your photo or if anyone has gala's 
this photo and wants 250 Nookma tickets, let me know. Hit me up on Instagram or open up a chat with me on Nookazon. My username for both is at Luna Rosebell and I'll also let you explore my unfinished island. But yeah, back to this build. I downloaded this stone rose path and I've been dying to use it and I finally got to use it here. I was going to use my other magic stone path but I felt like this looked a lot better here just because the roses are pink. And since I'll be adding the cherry blossom trees, I feel like everything will blend together super nicely. I will most likely be using this path again when I get to my house. I'm planning on transforming my house into a castle. I left a huge spot on the top left corner of my map and I wanted to see how much of that I'm going to use for my castle house. I'm still debating on creating a second or third player. I want to have more houses on here. I want to create a candy and flower shop but I'm going to see how much space I have left which I think I have enough space to create them because I only have two more villager homes left and I don't think it's going to take that much space. I hope not so I think I'll be able to finesse two more houses on top of the two villager homes but we'll see. So yeah we're almost done with this build. I'm just adding a garden wagon here with a cute little gnome and then I'm going to go to the top area and decorate up here. This top area I'm going to keep super simple but I am going to add on both sides the left and the right are the valiant statues. I just love how they look and it's definitely a necessity if you're going to have a fairy court island. I've added these statues in almost all of my builds and they're just so gorgeous. And then I'm going to finish off this area by adding a broken ruin pillar, some glowing mosses, flowers, some custom designs, a cedar tree, a mush lamp, and a mush parasol. And now I'm going to head to the left side which is the last part of this build. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm adding another crescent moon chair but in green, the valiant statue, another ruin pillar with a star clock on top. I'm going to add another cedar tree but a smaller one and I'm finishing with some bushes and these pink hyacinths. So here's how the first section looks. As soon as you pass by the nook's cranny, you have this view of the sunken secret garden. And here's the view of the two valiant statues with the crescent moon chairs. Super obsessed with how it turned out. It looks so good, so beautiful, and super elegant. And here is a closer view of the sunken part. I'm so obsessed with the rose stone path. It fits so well here. And here is how the right side looks. I wanted to do something a little bit different and show you guys this area at an angle. I thought maybe you'll be able to see it a lot better. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the builds and the video, let me know by hitting the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to join our little AC family. Also, don't forget to have your post notifications on so you don't miss out on any future videos. I love you all so much. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!